The day I'm recording my voiceover is January 15th. I've been in an art blocky mood, so I decided to kill my art block by drawing two of my yellow one characters in ice forms. Actually, three of them. Princess Peter and Xander and Max. Let's get started. So a little bit about all these characters. All three of them are yellow ones, just like Pac-Man, and can chomp ghosts, just like Pac-Man. Peter and Xander are twin princes from the Pac-Lands, which is the Pac-World version of Great Britain. I gotta admit it, their father, Gregory, actually knows about the real-life Queen Elizabeth. Anyway... Max isn't actually a yellow pack roller, but a yellow pointy head. That's right, yeah, pointy heads can be yellow ones too. Max wasn't actually born a pointy head. He actually was blessed in a Celestia's Ballad, My Little Pony style, and became a yellow one at the age of four or five. Both of these drawings are going to be simple sketches. No hands, or at least Peter and Xander, I decided to give Max his hands anyway. And no really any shading? Yeah, no shading for these characters. So what am I going to be doing? Well, because it is winter time and currently we have more than a feet of snow outside, I decided that I was going to draw the ice forms for both Peter and Xander and Max to celebrate the winter time. The day I'm recording this is January 17th. Now for Peter and Xander's crown, I actually found this pretty cool ice crown and I am going to trace it, I'm sorry for tracing, and I am going to use it for Peter and Xander. Their crowns uh, normally are pretty similar. These crowns are very similar as well, but I am going to change Xander's a little bit later on. I actually found this very cool looking ice crown that would most likely work for Gregory. Maybe I should do an ice Gregory in the future. Let me know in the comments if I should do one that. This is where things get a little tricky. Pac-Man actually leaves his original glove and shoes alone in his ice form. 
Well, I think the color on Pac-Man's ice shoes are a little bit different. So I'm going to be tracing the original shoes that Peter and Xander have, and I'm going to be using them for this drawing. I am actually going to change the color of their entire outfits. I decided that later on to do their entire outfits, but just change to different colors. Even the inside layer of their jeans, I decided to make silver instead of gold. Now, Max was very tricky. Like, have you ever seen a yellow blanket yet before? So, I just sent Max was some sort of space pirate and traveled to find the tree of life that gave him his powers to thank him. I decided to give him some sort of pirate-like outfit. What you're seeing in the reference is actually a girl's outfit, but I decided to make it look masculine. And the pointy head situation got me a little confused. I thought at first I was going to add some crystals, like all different types of crystals going on top of the head and covering the entire point of his pointy head. But that looked very stupid. I did not like it, so I found a pirate hat reference later on. And I decided to keep most of the original idea, but substitute it for a icy pirate-like hat instead. It still looks stupid, but I think I tried. Now we're moving on to the line art. For some reason, I decided to record both the line art and the coloring. I don't have to do any shading for this drawing, like I said, so maybe that's what inspired me to do the line art and coloring all together. But I will say, um, I don't know what else to say, so enjoy the line art and we'll get to the coloring in a little bit. Thank you. 
I decided to simplify both Peter and Xander's icy crowns with just icicles. And later on, for Xander, I decided to remove those, like, leafy icicle, like, snowflake thing. I don't know. I just wanted to make them look different, and I didn't want the crowns to look identical. For the coloring, Peter and Xander both have heterochromia. Pac-Man leaves his eyes alone, so both of these characters, all three of these characters, are going to leave their eye colors alone. If I decide to draw Peter, Xander, and Max in the alternative forms, like fire, Peter and Xander will always have their heterochromia. They will, their eye colors would never be identical. They'll always have hydrochromia. For Max, I decided to take the original reference and, sh and color shift it to blue. Well, on my color wheel, that is. And I decided to use that for the color palette. To make Peter and Xander's icicle crystals look more icicle, I duplicated my layer and I erased one part of the layer and then I erased the other part of the layer. I erased the bodies from one layer and then I erased just the crown icicles from the other and I decided to lower the opacity on the icicle layer and make it look translucent like her, the icicles on the drawing. I also did this for the true form of Dr. Griffith.
decided that to give Max some more icy like features on his outfit by having some snowflake like pattern like real snowflakes on the lower part of his top. I actually like how this looks. I was going to do it on Peter and Xander for their scene, but I think I actually forgot and I didn't even do it. I left Peter and Xander's hair color alone in this drawing, but now that I'm looking at it now, I think it should have been better as an icy blue. What do you think? video i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time